Yo, what's good, you guys? Thank you guys for helping me hit 50,000 subscribers. We are now on the road to 100,000 subscribers, and my birthday is on August 14th. I don't know if it's possible to hit 100,000 subscribers by then, but I'm putting it out there. So if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. I appreciate you guys so much for the support and love so far, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Love y'all. All right, Chris, we are gonna do a challenge. Close your eyes real quick. Okay. Can you guess what it is? Is it food related? Yeah. Is it a cookie challenge? No. You can open your eyes now. Wingstop. Yeah. That's enough to lemon pepper. Yes. So today, me and Chris are going to do like more of a Q&A mukbang. But the title of the video, like you guys saw, is trying to eat 50 wings. 50! <laughs> I was gonna tell you before, I'm gonna help you out. So 50 wings in 10 yeah. minutes, we're gonna have a five minute intermission, but- Just to finish this, we can't talk. No, <laughs> I believe we can do it. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh. We got mild wings, Louisiana rub, lemon peppered, which is Chris's favorite. Oh yes. And then barbecue. I like everything. How? I mean, I like barbecue too. I prefer honey barbecue because the regular barbecue. Bar I'm basic as hell. So it's okay. like, I'm just here for the meat, not here for the sauce. <laughs> Wait, 50 wings in how long? 10 minutes. <laughs> Alright you guys, got the questions pulled up. About to have the timer started. We are going to have an intermission at 5 minutes. Ready, set, go! Alright, we're going to start. Alright. Fun fact, you don't like your food hot. Guys, we're going to talk with our mouth full since we're on. On the time limit. Because it's not, it's not polite. I've had to teach Jesse and James that. Like smacking like... Like we know. We'll be at a business meeting or something. No. And we have to remind him. Like James is better. It's Jesse, bro. I don't understand how he gets it all over his mouth. <laughs> yeah, bro, he'll film. He'll come to our, some video shoots and he'll just have shit all over his mouth. <laughs> all right, first question. Who's the fourth person on your missed call list? I actually have four missed calls. My manager. Damn. Okay. What shirt are you wearing? What a coincidence. I, I did not figure out these questions before. Do I wear a new drop? I'm just drop it. Soon. That's all I can say. Question number three, warm lighting or bright lighting? These I are... prefer bright. When you have light or bright lighting, it automatically makes the video a little more exciting. What is a saying that you say a lot? Pause. Pause? No. You have been given an opportunity to create a half hour TV show. What is it called and what's the premise? Do you remember the Disney games? Mm -hmm. I want to do that, but the YouTuber game and have the biggest YouTube groups compete in like crazy challenges. Mm. What'd you call it? The YouTuber games. YouTuber. <laughs> <laughs> We're at five minutes intermission. How many wings are you in? Three. I'm four wings in. Guys, don't troll me. This is the first time doing this series. <laughs> so I'm underestimating. Yeah, we definitely can't talk and do this, accomplish this in time. I feel like we need more people. Got a question for you. You discover an island, a beautiful island and you get to make the first rule of the place for the society. What is that first rule? Honestly, I would just be like, no violence. What's the penalty for violence in You're today's dead. society? You <laughs> it's kind of extreme, but, but it, hey, just follow the rules and you won't <laughs> die. So death offers you to return somebody that is famous or in the world, or anybody in the world back to his earth that has already passed away. Who are you bringing back? It's gotta be Kobe. I agree with you. I think it's gotta be Kobe for me. A, a lot of people are saying Kobe. Yeah. I okay. think I think Kobe. A strange one for me would also be like Juice World. Juice World. Yeah, lately I've I've really been listening to his music, and it's like he was really on his path to like change his lifestyle, mm -hmm. and I believed it, especially like after hearing his latest project. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just gone too soon. All right, Chris, time's mm -hmm. up. Unfortunately, we got counter wings. I was almost at eight. I got seven. You beat me. So we're, we're at the same pace. So. Yeah, we're on the same pace. We got 14 wings in out of 50, but we got a couple more questions for you guys. I'm still going to eat. Chris, you hate this video? Who would you really like to punch in the face? Trump. Hmm. I'm not trying to get political, I just off the top. Yeah. You actually ate something radioactive. Mm. What's the superpower that you get? You know, I think I could do so much if I was able to have super speed. I can travel anywhere. Bro, I'm in and out like okay. everywhere. And then it's like, if I have that super speed, I can also would want, I'm always gonna be faster than whoever is around me. Thank but it's God. not, it doesn't come off as like, oh, this man is like, has super speed. Would you get tired? Or it would no. just be like, oh, I always thought about that, but when you watch like Flash and shit, like he's never like he's never tired. It's like, unless you do super strength, like super strength's crazy too. But it's like, Superman has a bunch of abilities, so that's, you can't really compare him. And then it's like, the Hulk, he's pretty big, like he does a lot, but it's like more destructive than like, that's constructive. True. That's true. Who's your favorite superhero? It sounds like. It's not Flash. You can't decide between Spider Man and I would say Spider-Man actually. For some reason, not saying you did it, 
but you're in a hotel room, you see a dead body, and your job is not to dispose of it. How would you dispose of it? Dispose of a dead body? Yeah. I mean, no, from what I've watched in TV shows, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna try to find that like bucket of acid and. And dump it in there. Dump it in there. Yeah, hope it disintegrates. Yeah. I would honestly, like, if that happened, I would just Google a bunch <laughs> of shit on how to, like, watch some top tens on YouTube, like, top ten ways to dispose of a body, and then just, like, all right, I think uh, I can do that one. <laughs> what is your toughest decision you've ever made? You want an honest answer, or? Always one honest, honest answer, if you're willing to share. I think to keep it real, and honestly, like, you know, the, the fans may take this. Oh, no. however they want mm -hmm. um, but I think one of the hardest decisions was like one of my friends who I'm not really like friends with anymore I think like the hardest part was telling him that I think you and I would like probably be happier if we were like friends anymore it, it's hard it's there's a longer story and longer like reality of it but I just, ex I think the hardest part was like to express, I, he wouldn't understand how to become a better friend and a better person without ending our friendship. And uh, it was really hard and a lot of people, I get a lot of shit online saying that I'm this and that and just having to like see that and read that when people don't really know like my, pe like my real intentions. Cause well, at the end of the day, like, I'm here to entertain and like that kind of stuff. The like kids don't, it doesn't resonate with them well, especially if it's like yeah. their favorite like YouTuber and stuff like that. But there comes a time where, you know, you try to help someone so much and you know, the moment you do something wrong, it all kind of is forgotten about. Yeah. And unfortunately that's kind of like what happened, but I knew that and you know, I kind of took it to the chin. But I think now like both of us, you know, we're doing well with our lives and, you know, we still communicate here and there. Um, but it's just changed like our online presence, I think probably forever. Mm -hmm. But hey, the way I think of it in most cases, like we're better, we're just happier people. And you, you know? guys are happy for each other, right? Exactly, like, yeah, exactly. Like, you know, people don't think we are. Yeah. But in, in all honesty, we, Why you know, we wanted what's best and that's all it was at the end of the day. I think that separation allowed us to, you know, go places where we didn't ever think could happen. And, um, you know, a lot of, it, again, people just like to focus on one thing rather than looking at it in a, in a yeah. bigger picture. Yeah. Um, and again, the mental health is like a big, a big thing that I think I wish more people would take more serious. Mm -hmm. And even, even myself at the time, like I didn't, I wasn't taking it that serious and then um, that relationship kind of opened my eyes to a lot that I didn't realize as a person. And then, you know, I think now even that person has definitely realized that. And again, we're both happier doing our, doing our thing. It's unfortunate what had to happen to make that happen. Mm -hmm. Uh, but that's life, you know, people come and go out of your lives and sometimes to live your best life you have to, you know, let people go even though you don't want to or you don't, like, again, it's as long as you understand why you're doing it and it's like for a valid reason and, you know, it, it, at the end of the day it's, both of you can both be, like, live your lives positively and better, then you just you just gotta do it. And it, it's harder, it's easier said than done. Yeah. So again, I think that's one of the, the tougher things I've had to do in my life. And again, being like an online presence, it's, it's harder to do without, you know, our dirty laundry getting out on the internet. And unfortunately, like it did in most instances, not all, but, um, yeah. Like Kevin Hart says, like his best life lessons are his toughest decisions or even mistakes. Not saying it was, it's just like, yeah. sometimes you gotta learn the hard exactly. way. Exactly. Like, I think, best for each other. yeah, and that's that's all it was. Um, I think it just didn't look that way because you only see a fraction of our lives mm -hmm. online. And uh, and there's so many there's so many other things that are, like are involved and you know some people grow as you are apart you know mm -hmm. I think I've learned that too is sometimes like for me personally like I I learn a lot more when I'm just like left alone and able to really process my feelings and 
you know, because my lifestyle, it happens like so fast. Um, so I never really have time to process what the fuck's actually going on. Yeah. And, um, you know, with that separation, it allowed me to just really process what, um, you know, what made me happy, what made others happy around me, um, and what made, you know, that person happy. And then I, I, the tough part was I just felt like our, like me and like my lifestyle, his lifestyle, just in our personalities just clashed. Yeah. And it's like, okay, if we're just gonna keep clashing, us being together is like, it's it's toxic. And none of us wanna be toxic because we have to deal with toxic toxicity online as it is. So it's like, if you can't escape that toxicity, like we're gonna need to find a, a, a breaking point to where, you know, we can have that balance of happy life, you know? Yeah. And unfortunately, like I, I felt that in the reality of things, like we just couldn't, be like we it's not that we couldn't be friends i think the the i'm saying like it's more like the decision to you know not live together and like be friends and because i'm always i want to be friends it's just that it was hard to be friends with someone that didn't really get that mm -hmm. and you know with all the repercussions and everything that happened it, it, it made it it's making it really difficult to be friends but i think you know, over time, time heals. Mm -hmm. And, you know, over time we actually have, you know, made, made ends meet to where like, we're mutual, we're cool, we want what's best. And like, you know, even supportive of each other, you know, just because I don't support someone online or show publicly, doesn't mean I'm not, you know, right, when, right. you know, behind closed doors. It's like, um, because that isn't, everything that I do online isn't a, an entire representation of me, you know? And the people out there, a lot of people won't get that and they refuse to understand that, but I'm not, I, that's not my purpose. My purpose isn't to please everybody. Yeah. And once I realized that, um, I was a lot happier because again, you're not trying to please everybody. You're just trying to please yourself and those that matter most to you around you. And that's what I, I feel like I've done. Yeah. So can't even get mad. Appreciate you sharing that story. Mm -hmm. I gotta say like a lot of things I wanna share with you guys, like. Chris, I have like conversations with Chris, especially when I'm cutting his hair or even outside. <laughs> There's so much life lessons if you just listen to stories, I feel like. Like the thing that you go through is like something that you can pick up and you can learn from just hearing that experience itself, you know, and prepare yeah. for life. So along with other stuff than that, you know, Chris has been such a- And having said that, just because like the way I, you know, just shared that and everything, I'm not saying I was in the right or, you know, that person was in the wrong, like we both were wrong. Mm -hmm. um, and we've learned from that. We both learned from that. So I don't want people to take that, what I just said, like out of context or make it stir yeah. up anymore. Um, that's just a very important life lesson that I feel like um, we both learned from and we've moved on from. So, and we've came at peace, we're at peace with each other. And you guys are happier. And, and happier, like we're doing like the greatest we've ever done in our careers and um, in our lives. So, mm -hmm. I, you know, I think we're, yeah, like you said, we're just both happy. Mm -hmm. You just gotta keep it moving, guys. You gotta keep it moving. We're almost done here. How many times a day do you look in the mirror? Bro, honestly, I feel like I don't look at myself in the mirror. Be, it wouldn't be over one. Wow. Bro, I, I don't I don't have a mirror in my sink. A lot of YouTubers are known to be uh, narcissistic. God, I really just I don't I don't <laughs> care too much. What do you bring most to a friendship? I feel like loyalty, and by loyalty I mean like I'm always out looking for what's best for them, even if they don't want to hear it. Because I could say one thing to somebody, and if I said that same thing in that same tone to somebody else, they would be offended. Yeah. It's like, because I'm looking out for what's best, I'm still gonna say it, but I, I try and like say it in different ways. I think, cause if you're loyal to someone, you, you're more open-minded with them. Yeah. Because if you're not, then you don't really care like what, like what they have to say or how they feel. So you just express yourself however you want. What makes you feel supported? If someone does this for you, it's like 10 out of 10 times you're like, I appreciate that. I think just actions, like little, little very subtle things. Or if it's something that I, I said, a while ago someone's like either like applies that or like does that i'm like okay that like, i i appreciate that the question oh my god what is this i got a little stain that's on that's like it. some drool <laughs> celebrity crush celebrity crush hey who's my celebrity crush what <laughs> lebron james <laughs>
I honestly got it. I don't have one. Yeah, yeah. I, I believe that. We'll, we'll end it there. Thank you, Chris. Shout out to Chris for doing this video with me. Thanks for watching. No problem, man. <laughs> the food doesn't go to waste. Don't worry, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure if you made it this far, make sure you give it a like. Comment down below. What do you guys want to see Chris do next in the future videos? Make sure you subscribe. We got bangers coming down the way. Make sure that you check out Chris's channel. The link will be in the description down below. Chris, you have anything to say on this last video? Hey, man. I hope you guys take that into you know take some notes i feel like we shared a lot of gems today Thanks. you know don't take it out of context it's, i just love to sp spread positive vibrations all right lately i've just been kind of having a different mindset on things and i like people and i want more people to look at the glass half full than half empty thank you guys for watching until next time peace